Hello, YouTube audience. It's Green Bay Wacky. I'm a live streamer. I'm a comedian. I have a lot of videos for you to watch. This is a tutorial. Uh, I hope you check out some of my playlists and all that fun stuff. And guys, I'm gonna and gals, I'm gonna tell you this video might be a little long. I'm gonna try to rush it along. Um, here's a question that I get asked a lot. Tell me in the comments if you actually survived this whole video. Here's what I get asked all the time. Green Bay Waggy, how is it that you get guests up in your panel on OBS? How do I do that? And here's the answer, you can't. Um, OBS is designed for one live streamer. One live streamer, that's what it's designed for. But there is a workaround. I'm gonna give you some inside secrets. Maybe this will be a viral video because no one's tackled this on YouTube. Um, how do you get a panel of guests in your OBS? And why would you wanna do it? Um, here is the simple answer. OBS is much more stable than Google Hangouts. You notice when you go to live streams and someone's doing a panel, there's a lot of choppiness, a lot of buffering, a lot of that kind of stuff. But you wanna look good for your audience, right? Right, you wanna look good? Now, in OBS here, look at this. I got animations going, I got my buy Boulder Buddies, you know, donate, all this stuff. I got my bells and whistles going. I'm looking good to the audience. That's why you want to do a panel with OBS. That's why. So you can look good and deliver an awesome live stream to the audience. At least that's me. If you don't, if you're not concerned with that, just do a Google Hangout panel. But if you want to step up your game, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, at some point here, I'm going to show you what to do and I'm going to narrate it. I'm not going to be talking anymore in the OBS here. Again, this can be a long video. If, you, if you're serious, there's no shortcuts here. You gotta know these steps. Now, first, let me set a couple stages. Um, stage number one, I I have two webcams right up here on my monitor side by side. Two, Logitech 920s. I'll grab a picture of those and I'll pop it in this video. And I'm using a Yeti microphone, okay? So that's all I'm doing here to make this work. Yeti microphone, two webcams, okay? Now, maybe from here forward or just in a minute or so i'm gonna start narrating and tell you what to do because i'm gonna have to screen capture and what's gonna happen is it's gonna mute my audio so you're not gonna be able to hear it because the screen capture is gonna want to use my yeti obs is gonna want to use my yeti and so i'll end up with like talking to you and there'll be oh my chroma scales off they're over oh well no big deal so sit back let me show you how to do a panel on obs i'll try to do it as fast as possible guys leave a comment to tell me if you've survived this now one thing i want to encourage you once you're trying to get the hang of this the first thing i suggest that you do are some private live streams okay some private live streams you don't have to broadcast this live until you get it figured out okay so what i do i'm just going to kind of set the stage one more time i get this set up before my live stream when i feel there's you know gonna be a possibility of some guests um i get ready because right now the guest has nothing you see that there's nothing in there so i'm going to show you how to get guests in there so you can have a great live stream now i'm going to be honest with you too when you combine google hangouts with obs to get a panel up here if you have a crappy computer it might not work for you it might buffer and all that i've got a very powerful computer two of them to do this but don't get scared you don't need an incredibly powerful computer you don't need a big gaming computer i was doing this with my i5 uh dell optiplex 790 long before i got this gaming computer so you need a computer that has some guts to it but don't get scared that you have to run out and buy a new one so from here forward i'm going to show you the steps to get the guests in that panel uh all right so again this is to go from doing one live stream like this to getting guests in there. And what's great also about the OBS, you can switch back and forth. So let's say your guests are up here and you wanna just, you know, do your other live stream by yourself. Hey guys, no one even knows you have guests right now waiting to get up on panel. So you can be all dramatic about it. So um, sit back guys. The reason to do this is to get a more stable, nice, and to be able to have all your bells and whistles, have a stable, nice live stream for the audience. Okay, I'm gonna show you the steps right now, here we go. Okay, so the very first thing to do is get your Google Chrome, your browser open, okay? Get your browser open. Okay, the next thing to do is to get your 
uh, OBS open, okay? Now, just real quick, I know right now I'm just on one of my scenes, but um, quickly on the settings, here's what you're gonna want to show. Um, again, I'm using two microphones, or uh, two webcams, two 920 uh, uh, Logic Techs, uh, but on your audio, make it right here. On your audio, uh, desktop audio device default, and that's gonna play sound through the uh, out to the audience. And uh, I've got my Yeti microphone set up for the uh, audio device, okay? So, let me just cancel that. Okay, guys, so the next thing we gotta do is we're a single live stream right now. Your goal is going to be to get guests up here like this. Right now, it's just me and the Google Chrome, okay? How did I get that up there? I'll show you real quick. Um, first thing you have to do is make a scene, all right? I'm gonna call it uh, OBS tutorial panel all right just just something like that all right that's what i named it and so here's what you have nothing we're gonna add a video capture device now you could go into create new just click on that and it'll go to your camera and pull it up but i'm just gonna real quick add my existing one which i've already programmed in not a big deal there so now we've got me and a square and that's it okay next thing to do add a window capture all right, you can name it if you want, but I'm just for the sake of this, not gonna. Now, right now it's got my, uh, look at that. It's uh, my screen capturing software, or I can do my YouTube channel. See that? You can choose. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Sometimes you have to toggle back and forth. I've had it where you just gotta toggle back and forth because it's stubborn and doesn't wanna give you the, see like right there. Um, all right, so there we go, got it. So we got a window capture. This is eventually gonna become your guest right here. Gonna become your guest. Now, there is one thing, and I'm gonna credit JT is all business, my brother, on YouTube for finding this little glitch out. If you're doing what I'm doing now and you have a black screen or a white screen, I'm gonna show you exactly why. You have to go and disable hardware acceleration on Google Chrome. Notice the three dots right up there. So here's how it works. You go click on those three dots and go to settings. So here's what we do. Right there. Three dots, settings, settings, advanced, system. Right there, use hardware acceleration. Uncheck that box. Uncheck it and you're good to go. So let's get back to this. You gotta know about that hardware acceleration problem. That's why you wouldn't be able to see your window capture, okay? Thank you, JT is all business. So here's what you got. Eventually this is gonna become you with a show with guests, all right? Let me pause this now and I'll show you the next step. The next step, we're gonna open our Google Hangouts, all right? That's the next step. Okay, we are in our Google Hangouts. We are gonna start a new conversation okay now we're not gonna have any people that we're gonna add to this yet we're gonna make a new group I'm gonna name the group I'm gonna call it um, tutorial OBS panel you can call it whatever you want oh I'm on the wrong keyboard OBS panel there we go, OBS panel. That's what I'm gonna call it for now, all right? Click the check mark. The room opens. Type in the room to make it real. Hey, friends, this will be live, as an example. That makes the room real, okay? You've got a room now, your OBS panel room, all right? There's no one invited right now, you're the only person, okay? Okay, here's where it's gonna get interesting. We are now gonna open up the room. Right now, I, myself, I'm gonna open my own room that I just made, no one's invited. I click on the camera. Now you notice I'm in the room by myself right now. Here we go. Now, the settings, you notice I'm on my second camera. My OBS, back here. I'm on my first camera. So in this room, I'm on my second camera. 
see that? I'm not on the one that's in OBS, all right? So we've opened up the room. Our OBS is up there waiting. My Google Hangout room that I just created is now here waiting, okay? Now let's go to our OBS and take a look. All right, now in my OBS right now, you notice there's no guests here. Now back in the OBS here, you'll see that the window is on the Hangout because that's just what the window is. I've got to go tell it. All right, I've got to go tell it. This is in mine right now in my this is my scene my guest hangouts right here i've got to tell it i want that other window nope you got to toggle it remember i said that there i am there i am now look at what i've achieved i am ready to invite people into that room and have guests we're ready to rock so now i can do a live stream that's actually almost it guys i'm doing my ships hey guys welcome to the green bay waggy blah blah hey we might have some guests tonight you know the, your audience doesn't even know that you have guests waiting in there unless they talk and they hear them, but you can mute it because they're going to come through the uh, desktop audio. So then you, you can say, well, guys, it's time to bring Bob and Joe and Susie out. Bam. And here we are in the Google Hangout, right? Now, there is a drawback to this. There is a trade-off. The trade-off is when you do it this way, you don't get all the squares along the bottom the way you do in a Google Hangout. So it's voice activated on your guests so they're gonna have to talk but you're still gonna have a panel you're still gonna see it now you could if you want have those squares but they're gonna be a lot smaller here's where the little fine tuning comes in on this um right now um is that you can on your window here now let's go to look at ours the one we've did this is yours same deal the window capture is set, you see how it's picking up that hangout? We wanna go and tell it, we don't want bandy cam. See all the choices here? We want, nope, see how you have to toggle it a little bit? We want the video call. There we go. So here's you. This is what you have right now. You and you're ready for guests. You could live stream right now and invite people into this room. Your audience would see them. Now here's what they see, they see this. So what you have to do is make a few adjustments, okay? Here's the adjustments. You can either do it here, light it up in blue and right click, or you can click on that and right click, but you wanna transform. Edit, transform. Edit, transform. This is where you now make the call. How much do you want your audience to see of the Google Hangout here? Now, if you just want it and you could care less, you're just happy that they're on there, you could leave it. But what if you wanna get rid of that invite people? Well, you gotta go down here to top. Notice I'm gonna delete something and I'm gonna put in 75. Notice how it just chopped? See how it's moving? It's moving, it's moving, it's moving. See how it's moving? You're gonna get a much better picture for the audience by trimming it. You're basically trimming the picture. So here we go. We're trimming it, we're trimming it to the invite people. Now, if you wanted people to see the little boxes underneath like a Google Hangout, you could do the picture big. But what I chose to do, and it's kind of a trade-off on OBS, is I trim up the bottom. I'm gonna go with uh, 120, let's see where that gets. And I can bring it back a little. I get rid of all the micro all the stuff that you see. All you're seeing uh, at the bottom of my green screen can be adjusted with the uh, camera, by the way. You see that? But you see how I just revealed the microphone button? You can hide the squares. You can hide all that. You go up to about here. Just keep going. Just keep going. And there you go. Now let's pull the left in a little bit. Crop the left. Get rid of that black square a little bit. Go to the right. Crop it in a little bit. You can put a frame around this. I have a frame around mine. And you're now ready to have guests. Now, I can adjust my own camera, okay? But you're now ready to have guests. So, I am now ready to have guests. Now, you see how I've done mine on this one? I have a little frame around it. 
it's voice activated. Once your guests come in, it, it'll go on them. Right now, there's two of me, I know, but it will go on them once uh, it'll get voice activated once they come in the room. So I am now ready to do a live stream. I'm ready to have guests. So I start out the live stream. Hey guys, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. And I know I'm gonna have guests at some point. So the way, all I have to do now is invite people into that room through their email. And they'll come right in there and we're just having a Google Hangout live, but I'm actually on my OBS. That's how you do it, guys. You can just add them. If you know their email address, add people. I'm assuming that you know how to add people to a room. If you don't, well, you might have to learn that. So here we are again, guys. That's basically it. How far you wanna take this is up to you. You're doing a window capture of a Google Hangout that you've prepared ahead of time. That's what you're doing. A window capture of a Google Hangout that you have prepared ahead of time. Watch my OBS tutorial, 20 minute crash course, and you'll get to the point where you can have this and what's great you can set up additional scenes for guests by the way this is very important if you minimize the window of the google hangout room you'll freeze bring it back up and you'll start playing again that might frustrate you make sure you leave the room full screen behind your obs this one i had a record you know i had the record one but i have another one here you can make different scenes for your guests duplicate them and so you can have fun with your guest having different scenes. Now, here's the last trick. Here's what you're gonna have to know, all right? Where are they? All right, I'm gonna show you this here. Your guests are gonna play through the desktop audio. I've got speakers that are hooked up to my computer. I'd say there's probably a good chance you guys also have speakers hooked up through your computer. When your guests are in this room talking, I need to take my headphones and plug them into my speaker. Now the audience is gonna hear them out through, you know, the OBS, right? But I'm gonna hear them here and that way you won't get an echo. If I, I learned that early on, when I have my speakers playing with them, it's echoing because they're talking, right? I'm listening to them through the speaker on the uh, computer but my microphone's picking up me and them. So wear headphones, plug it into your speaker. Now I can be like, hey, Bob, how you doing? And they're like, great, Green Bay. And I hear it here. And I, I can talk to the audience. The audience will hear them through the desktop audio. That's how you avoid the echo. So guys, if you have questions, you can reach out to me. My email address is on my homepage. Um, if you have questions, you can reach out to me on Twitter. But that's the basics of how to do this. Do some private live streams like this on YouTube so you, until you get the hang of it. But that's the uh, insider secret, guys. Tell me if you made it all the way through this video. If you did, say, hey, Wacky, you're not gonna believe this. I, I watched the whole freaking video, all right? Because I know it's long. All right, guys, I don't know what else to say. I've told you about hardware acceleration to make sure you get that. I've told you what I'm using. I'm using uh, one Yeti microphone here, two webcams right up here, one and two. That's one, that's two. They're right on my monitor, staring right at me. I don't even need to show you that. I mean, how hard is that? It's two webcams, one and two. All right, guys, have fun with your live streams. Tell me if this helped you. I love you guys. Watch some of my other crazy videos, comedy videos, songs, all that. Maybe this video will go viral because no one's ever tackled this. All right, tweet it out. See you guys.